Hello, my name is Cameron, and today I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to properly winterize your Escapod Topo 2. The first thing we want to do when beginning the winterization process is we want to elevate the passenger side of the trailer approximately six inches. To elevate the passenger side of the trailer, it can be done in multiple ways. You can either roll the wheel onto a curb, use a wheel chalk like we're doing here, and or a pneumatic jack. If you're using a pneumatic jack, the jack placement will be right under this control arm. Really what we're trying to do is we're trying to get all the water to the driver's side of the tank. The next thing that we're going to do is we are going to extend the stove door. We're going to remove the lower utensil door. This can be done by pushing down on these black tabs on the utensil drawer and it slides completely up. With the stove drawer removed, we can now work from underneath the stove. What we will be doing here is identifying the hot and cold water valves. That will be here and here. And we just want to ensure that these water valves are in the open position, which will be horizontal with the PEX line. This will mean that they are open and water will be able to pass through the PEX and out of the pressure relief valve, which is this yellow valve down here. The next part of the process is we are going to turn on the water pump. We're going to let pressure build and the water pump kick off. With the pump pressurized, we're now going to open the pressure relief valve. You can do that with your hands, but if you have trouble reaching it, you can use a tool. Uh, I'm just using this HDPE stick here to open the valve. We're just going to flip that horizontal and we will see the water drain out of the pressure relief valve too. We're going to allow this to drain until water is sputtering out of the pressure relief valve. Now that the water is sputtering from the pressure relief valve, we can go ahead and turn off the water pump. This is now going to allow the water drain out of the truma and out the pressure relief valve. The pressure relief valve is still open, but as you can see, the water is completely drained from the truma and anything that was left in the PEC system. From this point, we're going to go ahead and close the pressure relief valve. Now that the pressure relief valve is closed, we are going to turn back on the water pump. And we are going to allow pressure to build within the plumbing system. With the pump running, we're going to go ahead and plug our shower into the shower mixer. With the shower now plugged in, I'm just going to dangle it off the back of the trailer here and make sure that the shower head is in the on position. With our pump running, we've allowed pressure to build for approximately 30 seconds. After that pressure is built, we're going to open the faucet in the neutral position in between hot and cold. This is going to allow the water that's in the system to sputter out. We're going to open it for about five seconds and then close the faucet once again. After we've opened the faucet, we are then going to open the shower mixer. Again, in the neutral position, and you can see we're allowing all the water to drain out of the shower. After we've opened the shower for about five seconds, we're then again going to close the valve, allow pressure to build for approximately 30 more seconds, and then move back to the faucet. We're gonna rotate between the faucet and the shower until there is no more water coming out or just barely sputtering out of either the faucet and or the shower. So we've drained the shower and the faucet about three times now. Now that we have only air coming out of our faucet, we are going to turn off the water pump. After we've turned off the water pump, we are going to leave the faucet stored open and in the neutral position. This will allow any water that's left in the lines to gravity feed out through the pressure relief valve. The shower, we're going to do the same thing, open and in the neutral position. We want to make sure that all the water is out of our shower line. To do so, you can press this little flange on the bottom of the quick connect and hold the shower head above your head. And that will allow any water that's left in the shower line to drain out. So just to reiterate here, our shower mixer is going to be stored in the open and neutral position, as well as our faucet, open, neutral position, and the pressure relief valve is going to be open. That concludes the winterization for the plumbing system on the Topo 2. The next thing to take into consideration is going to be the batteries. These lithium ion batteries, we do not want them getting too cold or undercharging. 
So what we're going to do is we are either going to remove the batteries from the trailer and place them in a temperature controlled environment and or attach a trickle charger to them for the duration of winter. With the battery and the plumbing now taken care of, your trailer is ready for winter storage. Thanks for watching.